Hey, I'm Michael, and in this Cricut tutorial, I'm showing you how to engrave acrylic with a Cricut Explore Air 2 or even a Cricut Explore 3. So let's get crafty. All right, so for starters, this is something that you really, really ought to do after your warranty is expired on your Cricut Explore Air 2 or Cricut Explore 3. So your warranty lasts for the, the first year after purchasing your machine. This is something you might want to do until after that warranty is over because this will void your warranty. So just fair warning. Also do this at your own risk. But basically I'm showing you how to do a little hack on basically engraving with a Cricut Explore Air 2 or Cricut Explore 3. No Cricut Maker is required. Now to make this happen, we will need some special tools, including an actual engraving tool made specifically for this machine. And I believe it's pronounced Comus or Comas. Not entirely sure, but this is a little Comus precision tip engraving tool right here. And I'll have this as well as everything else that I'm using listed and linked with, with a discount code if applicable down in that description box below. So be sure to check that out. But we will also need some acrylic to engrave, right? And this came from 143 vinyl, this little square acrylic piece. Now this is, this is looking like it's blue. It is not blue. The blue is just a, a like basically a protective film that is on top of that acrylic. I will also be using this little LED base also from 143 vinyl. And it even comes with like this really cool little remote control as well. So that basically once our acrylic is engraved and we can place it down in here, it's basically going to light up the engraving with the different colors from the base, which is just so freaking cool. We will also need a purple strong grip cutting mat like this right here, accompanied by some painter's tape or even like masking tape like this right here as well. And we will also really need a couple of SVG cut files. So for this specifically, what I love about 143vinyl.com is they actually have SVG cut files that is sized perfectly for their blanks. So here is the page where I purchased my acrylic blank, my square acrylic blank right here. And if you just scroll down here towards the bottom, you can see that there is actually a place to click for basically like the download page for all the SVG files for this. So let me go ahead and click on that. And let's just find the one for the square, which should be right over here. All right, so here it is right here. So let me go ahead and click on that. And let me go ahead and also hop over to crafty.net, which is obviously the best place to go if you are a Cricut owner, Silhouette owner, whether Scan and Cut owner, a Glowforge owner, Sublimation printer owner, all the things. Basically, you can get all of your designs, all of your crafty files, unlimited like unlimited access to all of them there's currently over 12,000 on the site we're adding so many like well over 1,000 new designs every single month it's just remarkable deals like only 9.99 per month which is just mind-blowingly good or you could just do like 107.89 for the entire year and I honestly recommend going that route because it saves you even more money it's already a remarkable deal and we're just like wait hold up we're going to give you an even better deal if you pay for the entire year all up front, which is just so freaking remarkable. I'm just so proud of the site, y'all. But this is the file that we're using from crafty.net. I figured I'd make a little LED sign for our craft room, right? Which it says, working on my PhD in crafting, projects half done, which is just like basically all of us, right? I mean, it's all of us. So what I'm going to do is come over here and do what I love to do on crafty.net. And that is a one click download like so. And let's go ahead and hop over here to Cricut Design Space. All right, so as you can see, I did go ahead and skip ahead a little bit and upload these into Cricut Design Space. But if you're not sure how to do that, I will have a playlist linked for you where I basically go through the process of doing that on different devices. And that playlist will be listed and linked down in that description box below. But as far as this goes, one of the things that you really need to know about this little, this acrylic blank LED template and y'all know I love templates, but that is sized perfectly to fit onto this. Do not resize this template because this is exactly the size it needs to be coming into Cricut Design Space. So to actually let us see it a little bit easier, what I'm gonna do is come up here towards the top of the screen to the top left, click on this little color swatch and change this to a light gray. And then let's go ahead and just kind of drag our design over here and onto our little template. We do need to resize this just a hair, but Honestly, not even much. Let me just grab this little recess handle, drag that in like so. All right, so what I'm also wanting to do is let's go ahead and come down here towards the bottom right while this SVG cut file is selected. Not the template, just the SVG file. I wanna come down here towards the bottom right and click on weld. 
And basically I wanna turn that all of that, all those layers into one single solid layer because we're actually gonna be going through and engraving this all as one piece. What I'm also wanting to do while this SVG file is selected is basically go ahead and right click it and then click on duplicate so that we actually have two versions of this SVG file. What I'm also gonna do is hold down my shift key over here in the layers panel. While one is selected, I'll hold down the shift key and select the other, and then come up here towards the top of the page to align, and then click on center. And remember, only our SVG designs are selected, not the actual acrylic blank template, just the SVG designs that says, working on my PhD. So now that those are both centered perfectly together, what I'm wanting to do is come down here towards the bottom right and click on attach. Now, the reason that we're doing this is because basically we are using a Cricut Explorer device to engrave acrylic. This was not made or intended to engrave acrylic. So what we're gonna to have to do is kind of cheat our way around the system just, to, just a little bit. And basically by us attaching both of those layers together, it's sending a message over to our machine that, oh, we need to go over that exact design twice, which is just gonna give us a little bit deeper of an, of an engraving into our acrylic. And it's just gonna look better overall, which I am all about getting like the absolute best results, which, by the way, if you are new around here to this channel and you wanna learn how to best use your Cricut cutting machine, definitely consider stamping that subscribe button and also consider ringing that little bell for all the notifications because trust me, y'all do not want to miss out on a single Cricut minute. Trust me on that. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm wanting to do is actually come up here to the top right-hand side of this page because currently I do have this set to using my Maker. And I'm not using my Maker today, I wanna to be using the Cricut Explorer. So since I'm using the Cricut Explorer Air 2, I'll just click on Cricut Explore Family. If you are using the Cricut Explore 3, even though I don't think the Cricut Explore 3 has been out an entire year yet, Again, you do you boo, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your pickle, do this at your own risk. You could select the Cricut Explore 3 if that's what you're using. If not, click on Cricut Explore Family. Also, you will notice up here at the top left that this is saying that we'll be doing a basic cut. And that's because there's no engraving option. We have to basically cut it out, but instead of cutting, it'll actually be engraving because we will be using this tip instead. So just Buckle up your seatbelts because what we're about to do is really freaking cool, y'all. I'm just saying. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is come up here towards the top right and click on Make It. And now here is our template on one screen and our actual design on another. Now what I'm going to do is basically position this onto our little virtual mat in the exact same place, in the exact same position as what we'll actually be doing it on our actual real life physical mat right here. So what I like to do with this is, especially for something like this where, you know, it's not really intended to be engraving, I do like to go ahead and center everything towards the middle of the mat, just because I feel like it kind of basically allows it to get more even dispersion of pressure. Um, that could be just something I made up in my mind. I don't know, but, to me, it just makes sense and that's what I always like to do. And the results always turn out really well whenever I do that. So let me come over here and actually just move this. And I'm just gonna move this to where I have the top of this little template, basically on the one inch line right here. And I'm also wanting to have this centered horizontally as well. Basically, I want it to position right here on the three and on the nine. Now, the little corner of this, this little template should be hugging right outside the line of that three and right outside the line of this nine right here. And I think that that's going to work out really, really well for that. So what I'm also going to do is come down here towards the next mat, click on this, and I want to come up here and click on these three little dots and then click on move object. And I'm going to move this over to our mat with our template on it. So I'm going to click that one and then click confirm. All right, so now what I want to do is basically I'm just going to kind of position this where I want it to be on our real life little template. So I'm thinking somewhere towards the center and we have to keep in mind this little bottom notch, this little piece right here, we're not gonna see that. That's gonna go down here in our little base. So basically what we need to consider like the center, it needs to be right towards the center of the square, not factoring in this little, little notch down here. So let's go with something right about there. I think that looks pretty good in center. I mean, let me know what you think. If you think that looks good, let me know down in the comment section below, but I think that's gonna look really good. So what I'm also gonna do is click on this template again and then click on these three little dots and then click on hide selected. So basically we use that template on this screen to position everything perfectly onto our actual mat. We got our design 
positioned perfectly onto this mat so we know exactly where to place this at and we also know exactly where it's going to engrave everything out on. So let me go ahead and position this onto this purple strong grip cutting mat. And remember we said the top of this line was gonna be on that one inch line. So let's go ahead and put that there. And we also said that the little notch right here, the little corners, we're just gonna be hugging right outside the three and the nine. So the top of this little template will be on that one inch line. And then these little corners are gonna be hugging the three and the nine. All right, so based upon what we just did with our little virtual mat and with our actual real life physical mat, we know without an absolute doubt that this design is gonna be engraved perfectly right here onto our actual mat, onto our actual acrylic blank. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pick at the corner of this acrylic blank and then just peel up the top layer of that blue film. Also keep in mind that the back side of this acrylic blank also has a blue layer of film, so you will still see blue, it's just not on the side that we're engraving it on. Now I will say this, some people will like to go ahead and mirror their design, and if you wanted to do that, you could come over here and click on this little mirror option, and as you can see, it perfectly flipped it. And you can do that if you actually want the front side of the acrylic blank to be smooth to the touch. To me, it doesn't really look any different at all and i don't think many people are going up and actually rubbing your acrylic blank sign if that makes sense so i don't think that anybody would ever even notice if you actually have it engraved the right way um in like the rough side sticking out towards the front or if you engrave it reversed and actually have the rough side on the back side. However, I do know that some people have gotten aggravated with me in the past whenever I had the rough side of the engraving facing out front. So just for you all, just for you, I'm reversing it and I'm doing it the other way just so I actually have a video out there for you guys as well. So let me go ahead and actually put down my painter's tape. We're basically wanting to go ahead and just reinforce this acrylic blank onto our strong grip cutting mat. We do not want this thing to budge. We do not want it to move. We want it to stay exactly where it, where it is. All right, so that's all taken care of. Let's go ahead and come down here towards the bottom right and click on continue. Now, if you are using a Cricut Explore Air 2, make sure that your little dial is set over to custom. You don't have to worry about this if you are using a Cricut Explore 3, but again, Cricut Explore Air 2, make sure your dial is set to custom. All right, so for our base material cut settings, what I'm gonna do is come over here and click on browse on materials, and then just do search for heavy. And then I'm gonna come in here and click on heavy cardstock 100 pound, and then done. All right, so another really important thing to do is make sure to switch out your blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlatch clamp B, remove our little fine point blade, which by the way, if you didn't know, you can always think of A as accessories and B as in blades. So then we'll take our little Comus tool, I believe is how you pronounce it. Again, this will be listed and linked down in that description box below. I wanna place it right here into our little clamp B. And then we go ahead and take our little mat and go ahead and load it into the machine. And now, before we do load it, make sure that you have these little white star wheels right over here. You want them moved all the way over to the sides. So you could literally move two to one side and then two to the other just so that they're not rolling over on top of your acrylic. So now let's go ahead and load this in. And then I'm also gonna come over here and change the pressure from default to more. Because again, the deeper the engraving, the better it's gonna look. And that's just my opinion, but it's also the truth. So <laughs> let's go ahead and click on this little flashing go button for it to start doing its thing. All right, so this is completely done and cutting slash engraving. So let me go ahead and unload this. And now I'm just gonna go through here and just very carefully peel off that painter tape. All right, so now all we have to do is dust off the, the dust, <laughs> peel off the blue film on the other side of this acrylic blank, and then we're all finished. Now real quick, if you are new around here to this YouTube channel, and you also want to learn how to best use your Cricut cutting machine, then you definitely want to consider stamping that subscribe button, and also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications, because we are putting out new crafty tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. Honestly, multiple times every single week, and I promise you do not want to miss out on a single Crafty or Cricut or Glowforge or Sublimation Minute. Also, if you liked today's video or if you learned something new, consider stamping that like button and dropping a comment down in the comment section below. Both of those things are absolutely free to do. 
and I promise you do not want to miss out on a single crafty minute. Thank you all so much for watching. I love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty, y'all.